Alrighty, welcome, welcome. Another episode of On the Rank Ladder. It's going to be French versus the Abbasid Dynasty on Hill and Dale. I don't know how I feel about this. It's quite a tough matchup for me, I found. Um, I think the other time, well, the one time I've played this matchup, I've lost. So, I feel like it's going to be a bit of a tricky one. Uh, we're going to go for a two town centre. I, I was quite aggressive last time around. It didn't seem to work so well. So, I think we're going to try and try and match the two town centre. Obviously, the Abbasid Dynasty will have fresh food stuff, so the villagers will be cheaper, but it's what it is. Alright, kind of food again now then. We're gonna try a cheeky two town center build. Get the, uh, keep as many as we can. We want eight on food, and then I'm gonna send another to gold, and then go three to wood, and then stone. That second town center as soon as we can, and I don't know, should I even go for a third town center? It feels like that's very, very risky. We shall see. I think army composition, we'll see what our opponent's doing, but I'm feeling a bit of uh, horseman, oh, no. horseman archers, I think. That's the kind of play we want to go for. And I don't mind sort of running out of sheep there. We can go for the deer if we have to. I just want to get as many sheep. Nice. Go around the back of his base, to be honest. Go to gold, now three to wood. Uh, he's probably, I don't know actually, he won't be bringing his sheep back, he doesn't need to, the Abbasid Dynasty is. That's kind of weird he's still got scout there. Very weird indeed. Anyway, that's what it is I guess. So, uh, okay, one more to wood and then go to stone. That's nice, that's picking up sheep on his side actually. Very, very nice. Oh. For real. I think he probably just attack moved. And now we go to stone. Stone's forward, which is kind of annoying. Oh no 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 we didn't want that. Oh this smokes, okay, that's bad. Okay, we want six on. Oh, we should have gone going up to the next stage ages ago. We want two longer. Good cavalry. Build that house as well. Pretty impressive, we're still picking up sheep. I'm happy with that. We want six on stone. I didn't really need this mill actually. Actually, you know what? we'll keep the village on gold there, so we can get that wall barrier at least. Back. One more stone, and then I think we should be okay. to wood basically. I want to see what he's up to. So second town centre, I think we're going to go for here. There's berries and wood. That's quite a nice spot. 
pushed up the deer, which is not ideal. Actually, you know what? We're going to push in the deer to the town centre, because that's going to be pressured, I think. At least I feel that's the plan. That's not pushing. I'm going to find out what Pennant is doing. And that will barricade. We'll come off guard now. I don't know whether we go three town centres actually. I'm conscious of that fact that maybe it might be worth going three town centres. We'll get some a bit more stone. So we're going to go for some arches here. We just offer food actually. Yeah, who's expecting some knights, wasn't he? We're going to be pretty surprised when he doesn't see that. A lot of spearmen coming out. Oof, that's a bit costly. Where do we go for that? I think we we'll go for the next TC down at the bottom there. That's a nice spot. Now we do need to get some army on the field, that's for sure. No, I think we're just going to wall up. We need to get some armor in the field though. Need some houses. See what our opponent's doing now. I'm not being able to produce here. We need to go back on food, really. No, we can get bored with our arches, really. 
Booming ahead now. Just cause some damage at least. Put some sort of pressure on him. I don't know if this is super greedy, this feels super greedy to me. Just let's react there. Okay, it's Horseman coming out. So we're going to head back into our base now. I think we need to get to the next stage, really. The man of arms in the next stage. Can. Okay, how are we looking? Looking okay. We look, do need quite a bit more food though. We need that next stage. I think we need to idle a little bit here. But you don't need to. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We're going to be there soon. Add a little bit. Let's go for the the guild one. Okay, I think we're gonna get the man at arms here. Cool. We're gonna need food and gold, basically. Oh, we're doing great on the gold front, not so much on the food front though. That has to be considered here, in fact, I don't need that then. Upgrades actually. Okay, we're really struggling on the food count. Happy with the progress though. 
can take some effective fights, that would be ideal. Here. You need more axe, actually. But we need that upgrade, that's for sure. I think we need to keep. We need a defensive keep. I just have a consideration about relics. It's really bad uh, mining camp position there for some reason. Did we get double blacksmith? That was a mistake. We wanted a uh, white uh, market. about going to the Imperial Age maybe. We, we need to see what he's up to really. We haven't got really good scouting here. Seem like he's picked up many of the relics, which is kind of good for us. Okay, that does go up front at what cost? Right, we're going to get a forward keep as well. Now we need to get the wood because we will need the wood for the horseman. Pick 
Just see what's going on down there. Let me just go around the side, you know. Oh, do you know what? We needed, we needed uh, siege engines here. We needed siege. There's the guild hall. Pick up the. Uh, we can get the stone here. I think we just ride it. We just run in. We're just running because we'll be going to the Imperial Age now. Let's go to the Imperial Age with the College of Artillery. We're just going for barracks for the Man of Arms himself, I guess. Oh, I think we just go for knights. We'll just go for crazy knights. Just stonewall that her just in case. In case he tries anything crazy. And we need uh, a university. Talking on wood there. How are we doing? Those will be elites very soon, very nice. The university's in, so what we need now is some crazy upgrades for that. More bloodlines will be fine. And what's our guild hall going for? Stone, is that? Yeah, I think it is. <coughs> Get sacred sites as well. We are pop cap, so we might as well go and attack now. Do we have a, a cannon yet? We do have just one. We need more than one, though. Really. We need to go for arbitrary as well. I think we've got too many villagers to be honest. How many do we have? 150. Yeah, not bad. Okay, we've got we've got horsemen arbitrary now. For a really heavy investment in units. Is To secure that second side position. These cannons firing up. Repair 
repair it. to uh, get a cannon though. He's down there, isn't he? He's got to be down there. Oh, we need that. The upgrade. Didn't get that six. Oh, we did get the six item one. What we need to do now, I think we need another keep in that position there. We don't have enough stone for it though. Villages on wood actually. With the wood upgrades. So we have line of vision, that's kind of bad. We need another cannon though. Cash in the guild hall stone. Oh, there's not much there. Oh, I didn't use the French bonus, which is the um, production buildings around the keeps. It's kind of bomb. Need to learn from that next time. Flood everything we can. More or less. Keep flooding. Ooh, we don't want the max running into the spheres, though. Happy for the man arms to be there. Uh, let's keep going horsemen, though, I think. The man arms take care of the spheres, and the horsemen will mop up the obliterate or the crossbows. Upgrades. 
Yeah, we don't. Oh. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm gonna just back down for a bit. Some more villagers forward, don't we? These villagers are there. Well, that's not ideal because we do need gold, so you know, send more villagers, new villagers to gold. Three minutes on the sacred site. Tree. He winning this game, I think. He saw it too. Is that cannon? I'll do a bit. Oh, yeah, I'm worried about this sacred site here. He deactivates that, that'll be a problem. Did you? Alright, nice. It's a bit weird this game, it's very different from what I'm used to guys. I'm used to very heavy aggression with TC boom, which is insane. Definitely not what I'm used to, used to but uh, we did it in the end. I feel like it was a bit precarious. I think we did some good unit switches. Um, I think at the end of the day it came down to um, who attacked first. I think it really paid dividends. Oh, there's lots of stuff here. I need to keep better scouting here. He has got Palisades though, to be fair, but that shouldn't be keeping us out. There's lots of economy here on the right side. I want to take a look at the village account. That's what's really going to be key, I think. Let's take a look. Yeah, so it, it was higher for, for significant periods of the time. I did lose a little, lot of villages here. I think it was probably when I was trying to build that keep. Uh, but overall, fun game. Interesting. Pretty booming. It's a pretty boomy game. And uh, I think we had the upgrades. That's the main thing. It was basically Imperial Age Army into, uh, versus Castle Age Army for quite a period of time. Quite a late Imperial Age time for him there. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this game, and if you did, do give it a thumbs up, and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It means now, take a look at our rank. Are we climbing? Are we climbing? Okay, yeah, still gold three. Uh, we're getting there, closer and closer, with each game. And I always appreciate any comments, any feedback. I think uh, you know, I want to keep improving this. Probably stuff that you've watched in the game that I haven't noticed. It'd be cool to hear you guys uh, and read you guys' thoughts. Alright, take care, and see you next time.